it is spooky season and I wanted to help you get into the spooky mood. So today we're going to be looking at 10 Stardew Valley Halloween mods to turn your game from this to this. Ladies and gentlemen, the first mod we have today is the Halloween feels mod. First thing you'll notice chat, starting screen, it looks a little different. You can see here it's getting a little spooky, but it's not just the starting screen. I don't know if you can hear that, but not only has it changed the look of the game, but the music has completely changed too. This mod has total custom music. It's slowed down all the music in the game and it's pitched it down to really help with the atmosphere. So let's log into a farm and see what it looks like. Dude, look at this. Wait, this is so scary. Look at my house. Look how to, what even is that? I think that's the baby cradle. How am I meant to put my baby in that comfortably? It's gonna get eaten. So this mod, Halloween Feels, pretty much goes through and changes everything in Stardew Valley to be this super creepy, airy look to it. Yeah, look, look at the house. So all the scarecrows have been changed. This is a well. This is what the well looks like. That's terrifying. Let's get our blood from the slug monster. All the stone has been turned into, what is that, skeleton heads? Oh yeah, skulls. I think this is wood. It is, it is wood, but it's a bone. Dude, who drowned in my little pond? This mod has two parts to it. One where you can only have this for Halloween and the one I have installed where the entire game is like this throughout the all the seasons. I like the guys chilling in the trees, just, you know, just hanging out on my farm. So all the animals in this mod have also been changed. It's hard to see them because they kind of blend in with the background, but oh yeah, that's a headless chicken. Oh great, it's like the butcher mod all over again. That's really creepy, I don't like that. What do the cows look like? Oh, the cows are zombies. Can we eat that flesh or is it just gonna be too rotten? Oh wow, look at the township. Oh no, what happened to Pierre's? Who are those things hiding in there? Is that pumpkin like vomiting blood? No, who died here? Lewis, who did you murder in the town square? Is this just one of Harvey's victims? Oh, yum. Has all the water in this game been turned to blood? Okay, not my water apparently, but the rest of it has. What does the beach look like? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, great. Dude, it's like we're in like the seas of hell. You know, you could take Seb down here. I'm sure he would love it. Oh my God, it actually does say hell on there. <laughs> it is the seas of hell, dude. I'm gonna go get some goats. Oh my god, the goats are the satanic goats. They're like the witch, dude. Look at these little baphomets. Would thou like to live deliciously? I'm interrupting because I'm super excited to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Backbone. If you don't know what the Backbone is, one, you're missing out, Two, the Backbone is a controller that turns your smartphone into a portable gaming device. I grew up playing handheld consoles and I genuinely think the Backbone is the future of handheld gaming. Just unbox it from its gorgeous packaging, stretch it open, click in your Apple or Android device. Wow, I should have cleaned my phone before I shot this. And that's it. You have a completely ready to go console and controller in your hands. I've always tried to play Stardew Valley on mobile, but I could never get it because I always found the controls to be very counterintuitive. But with the backbone, it's honestly become incredibly easy. I have found myself playing Stardew Valley Literally everywhere I go, I'm not even joking. I think it's become a slight addiction. And the coolest part about this, it's not just Stardew Valley. With the Backbone app, you can play console or PC games on your phone with cloud gaming. Connect up your Steam, Xbox, or PlayStation Play account, and you can play the console games you own on your phone. Over the past week, I've been playing the Backbone for many, many hours, which is why I was so excited to bring it to you guys for this week's sponsor. If you want to pick up a Backbone for yourself, you can head to playbackbone.com or click the link in the description down below. Thank you again so much to Backbone for sponsoring today's video. I love this little piece of equipment and now back to the mods okay next mod super simple super easy creates an incredible atmosphere horror rain 
It rains blood. I don't know what more you could ask for. It's kind of horrifying. Now it makes sense why the well is full of blood. The next mod we have is actually a little hard to see. You gotta keep your eyes peeled and you might have seen it already as we're going along. The next mod we're working at today is the Spooky Creatures Critters mod. Now, this mod actually does have some conflicts with the Halloween Feelings mod. So if you want this one to work, you might have to do a bit of modding in the Halloween's feeling. Just delete the Critters PNG in the Halloween Feelings mod. But this mod turns all the critters in Pelican Town into spooky little animals. So see that bat? That's actually a butterfly. So we're gonna go around and have a look and see what we can find. Oh, look at that. What the hell was that? Did that squirrel have fire on it? Creepy ass squirrel? It was Flareon. Look, the seagulls are radioactive. Look, they're see-through. They're ghost skulls. The critters you can actually find around Stardew Valley. Uh, a woodpecker turns into a blood butt. Don't know what that is. Rabbits become snakes. Frogs become spiders. Sorry, Sebi. Butterflies become flying eyeballs. And birds and the seagulls, the seagulls become radioactive. So that's, that's not an environmental disaster waiting to happen. The next mod we have today is for all the witch girls out there. It's your season, so I had you in mind for this video. Because if you ever feel that the world of Stardew Valley is not magical enough, then this next mod is called Witchy Valley. What this mod adds is the gameplay ability to create potions in a cauldron. That's pretty cool. This mod adds a cauldron for all your witchy needs and also you get sent potion recipes. But here's the fun part. The way you get sent potion recipes is by getting your hearts up with the wizard. So you have to go after magic daddy to be able to create some potions. So every two hearts that we put him up, I think we get a potion sent to us in the mail. So if we go wizard to heart, sorry, Haley, I'm just doing some magic and we go to sleep for the night. Tomorrow morning, we should get a letter. Oh, here we go. Forager's plither. Slowly add sap to boiling water, stirring to dissolve, add minced moral and fiddleheads. One soft sprinkle in finely crushed earth crystal. Wait, what was it? Oh God, I'm not a witch. Earth crystal, moral and uh, sap. One dash of tree sap. Oh, it just tells you. I thought you would actually drop it into the cauldron and then it would like pop out. Okay, well, no, that, that's cool too, I guess. That's cool too. What do we get? Forager's Plither. A tincture that helps foragers listen to the earth for clues. Energy, health, luck, foraging. Wait, that's actually kind of sick. The wizard was holding out on us base game. He's given us the goods we're here. The spirits have been making mischief during the night. This potion may help any who, whose sleep is being disturbed, but use it with caution. It is very powerful. Oh no, I wouldn't want it to slip it into Lewis's drink so he falls asleep forever. Stir in honey to dissolve, separate seeds and stems from poppy flower. Oh, I see. We're making a poppy mixture. Oh, Penny's going to love that. Minus 75 energy. We just made some really good tasting heroin. What if we drink it? Brutal. Oh my God. Why would I need that? Amatentia. Makes the drinker feel very fond of the giver. Are you gonna love this? Is this like a universal love? This is my absolute favorite. It is a universal love. Oh, that does help me with my social anxiety. Oh my God, this next mod needs hat mouse and I didn't see him down there. Oh, that's so scary. All right, this next mod is for if you want a little bit of style in your game. This next mod is called Horror Hats. And if we go in here, it should add new masks to the game so it adds i believe four zombie masks a dwarf mask and four skull masks which is oh yeah you get like a ghost face from scream what wait that's the scariest thing i've seen yet also there's the eye butterfly up there but what is this this is more Wait, so these are the masks you can get? Why is there a Lewis one? Ew! What the hell is this? This is horrifying. I'm wearing Lewis's skin. Oh, this is so cursed. Hi, little butterfly. Do you like my face? 
Okay, well, uh, before we go running away with this, let's look at some of the other ones we have. There's a dwarf mask, a ghost mask, a bloody vampire, and a green zombie. I like the ghost face one, the bloody zombie, but this is the scariest one yet. Yeah, hey, sweet thing. You know, I've uh, got my lucky purple shorts on. I was thinking maybe, maybe you could just take a, take a break from your work and uh, we could go find our favorite bush somewhere. This is the scariest mod we've looked at yet. Okay, there's one mod that I never got working, but I want to mention it anyway. Uh, it's the Halloween pet replacement mod. It just adds a little uh, jack-o'-lantern to your game as a pet. I'll check it out. Very cute, very simple. If this isn't enough for you, if you want a little bit more, the next mod we have is the Halloween decor mod, which does exactly what it sounds like. It means you can spookify your farm even further. I believe this mod needs the uh, alternative textures pack. But if you go up to the large futon bear here, I think you, if, is it spray paint? It is spray paint. We can turn them into cute little ghosts. Or we can turn the futon bears into adorable ghosts. This is literally the mod. This is it. So you can, hey, Haley, I got something for you. Look at that. Is that a Junimo one? This is literally the cutest mod. That's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I know this is meant to be Halloween decoration. I don't care, it's adorable. You also get paintings you can hang up and change. So I think this one, there, look at that. So we can turn it into a skull and a plant and a jack-o'-lantern and looks like potions, which means we can bring the cauldron over here. Look at that. I don't know why it's suddenly turned bright, but look at that, it's like a little witch area. So yeah, that's a cute little mod you can have just to decorate, just to get into the Halloween spirit a little bit more. And if you wanted even more to go alongside the alternative textures mod, if we get these jack-lanterns, you'll notice they're looking a little different. That's because we have a more jack-lanterns mod, which means you can design the jack-lanterns however you want. Is this a Joja one? Can we turn this into a Joja one? Oh my God, we can. So you can place these around them everywhere. Can we just add this to like right here? Oh, we can! Someone's gonna break that though, aren't they? Look, you can add these to town. Oh, that's so cute. We could decorate Pelican Town to even be even creepier. Here, we'll make Harvey's office scary. Which one reminds you of death? That one. Yeah, the, we can have the rotten pumpkin outside of Harvey's just to remind people that if they walk in, they're not coming out. Look at that, little pumpkins around Pelican Town to spice up the area. Give it a Halloween feel. Stardew Valley is in fact a farming sim. So what is farming without crops? And that's where our next mod comes in. Spoopy Valley. Yes, it's actually called Spoopy Valley. This mod adds 13 new scary crops to the game, four scary fruit trees, and 18 new terrifying recipes. We're gonna plant them and see what they look like. I believe the first one is called Hung Hungarian Chili Seeds. Black Carrot, Black Joji Berry, Black Huckleberry. What the hell is Huckleberry? Black Mulberry, Futsu Pumpkin, Indigo Rose Tomato. Dude, there's so many. Whoa, look at them. Dude, look at these trees. Wait, the apples look poisonous. These are spoopy. The peaches look like they've shriveled up. Dude, look at these all. This is the most goth looking farm I've ever seen in my life. They're really pretty. Okay, let's sell all this. Let's see what it all sells for. Jesus, that was good money. The Joji Buried sells for 275. Hey, you can make some good profits from goth farming. Spoopy Valley wasn't actually that scary, to be honest with you. So I thought we needed a farming mod that was actually quite scary. Some could say maybe even a little disturbing. So I went through and downloaded a mod I've actually showcased before on my channel, one of my earliest videos, Abigail Ruins Stardew Valley, but I wanted to show it off in its full. So the mod I got in today is character planting, which adds seeds of the bachelorettes. They grab a few Abigail seeds, grab some wrongly spelt Haley seeds. What does it say? Plant in Emily. It can be planted in spring, summer, and autumn. Great. So let's get a let's get a row of Emily's going. Haley, you can have her own area. Haley, I wouldn't go outside for a few days. I think this is it. Oh. Oh yay. Oh great. Oh, at least the Abigails have come in nicely this season. 
This is how it goes. Already to harvest. Yay! Why did anyone make this mod? You can go through and you can harvest all the bachelorettes to your heart's content. Just in case you wanted their heads. Sorry, Haley. Sorry. Oh, that's not nice. Now, the worst part about this mod, it gets worse. It gets worse. So, you can actually, you can actually cook with them. Go hot pot. Oh, no. Who made this, dude? Why? A hot pot made of the girl's heads. It's just a girl hot pot. Ready to eat. Mmm, girl dinner. Yum. So, you can actually cook up meals of all the bachelorettes so you get some maru bread an emily burger yeah you can see emily's blood and hair in there i don't even know what this one is a leah salad and a bucket of Haley. oh yeah you can see her eye Haley, do you want this yeah yay i told you they would be spooky mods all right let's just go do the flower dance no no wait before we do the flower dance, I need to show our final mod for today because this is the perfect opportunity to show it off because it is a character design mod. Hello, there they are! This is the Enchanted Valley mod, which adds a spice of fantasy into Stardew Valley and changes a lot of the, I think mostly bachelorettes, maybe one met guy, into animals and creatures from fantasy worlds. So Emily, what are you? Are you a fairy? She is. Oh my God, that's so cute. Is that, is it, Haley must be a fairy too then, right? Oh, she, hello, my wife. She's so fairy core, dude. Oh my God, she's so 2000s pixie core. Look at the portrait. It even has the wings. I wasn't sure if it would work for the portrait. She's so fairy core. Wait, what is Marnie? She's a sheep person. <laughs> that fits her perfectly. So is that what Jas is too? Oh, that is so cute. Oh, Abby's a spider. Oh, and Carolyn is too. Doesn't, isn't Abby afraid of spiders too? Doesn't she have a fear of them? Look at Pam! Wait! <laughs> She's a harpy. Penny's one too. Penny, I need you to pluck some feathers. Penny, please, I'm seeing Gus tonight. I need you to pluck some feathers for me. Help your old chicken mother out, Penny. I think Seb is meant to have one. Seb, do you have one? Did he have a tail? Dude, that's a tail. Wait, it says that he's a Kelpie. Water creatures from Celtic tales often seen by the river. In my mind, Sebastian's a werewolf. Look how cute she is in her flower crown. And thank you guys so much for watching all of these mods. All the mods will be linked in the description below. And while you're down there, why not subscribe? Let me know if there's any other scary mods that I might have missed. I always like to hear your guys' suggestions. But thank you so much for watching. Have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.